longer a stranger, he shall from this day forth be known as Prince of Persia. Alright. Alright. So, I'm gonna tell the penguin joke. Okay, so there's this penguin, and he was driving a his car uh, in the middle of the desert. And he's, uh, because he, he, this, this penguin is actually like, he was going on a business trip, right? Because like, penguins go on trip. Pe pe well, penguins, they're already wearing the suit. Okay. So, um, yeah, uh, penguins are natural business types. I don't know if you, if, if you guys are familiar with, uh, penguin lore, but penguins and business, they go together. Like the, the, that, that, that term greed is good that 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 gecko that gecko guy says in the wall street movie it actually was originally spoken by a penguin yeah so so penguins are really big on um really big on business and this this penguin was particularly big on business and he liked to drive places rather than fly if it was cheaper and he fi figured out that there's this stretch uh, through the desert he could drive which would save him some money and since he was kind of a cheapskate he decided to drive this uh this 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 old beat up car through the desert right so he, he's driving this car right mm -hmm. and and what's so annoying is that he forgot to fill up his windshield uh wiper fluid mm -hmm. so these bugs are hitting his windshield and he really, he, like, he's having trouble. It's like every now and then he's stopping and he's, like, wiping off his windshield because these bugs are, like... Anyway, at some point, he, he's driving along and his car breaks down. And he doesn't know what to do. Um, because, like, what, what do you do when, when your car breaks down? Uh, it, it, when, you, when you're right in the middle of it. Well, he's too cheap to buy AAA. But... Um, somebody comes by and helps him push his truck, his car down a, a ways. And there's actually a, um, like a, like a, a mechanic shop. There's a mechanic shop on one side of the street with like a, like a, one of those old school, old timey diners, you know, with the, with the waitresses that are wearing the blue and the stuff. So he goes over to the mechanic shop and he's like, um, I'd like to, you know, see what you can do about my get my my car working and the guy's like okay well i'll take a look at it but it's gonna take a while so why don't you go over to the diner and uh have something to eat now i would just like to say that i think that this is like a plan between the diner person and the uh, mechanic shop, you know, like, oh, we're going to work on people's cars and then they're going to go over to your place and they're going to spend even more money getting food at the diner. Like, it's like a it's a it's a team effort, you know, um, you know, in while the joke does not contain the last names of the, the owner of the diner or the owner of the mechanic shop, I think they're the same last name. You know, I'm just saying, like, it's a brother and sister act, I think. You know, it's like a... Oh, anyway. So, so anyway. Back to... Sorry, I, dig, I digress. So, um, the penguin walks across the street. It's not a busy street. It's a street in the middle of the desert. So, he doesn't have to, like, dodge traffic or anything like that. I don't know if that was... I don't want anybody to get concerned that the penguin... Because he walks slowly. He's a penguin. He doesn't walk fast. You know, this is the reason why he didn't want to be stranded out in the middle of the desert. He's a penguin. They don't walk fast. And they don't fly. They do swim, but as I mentioned before, they're in the middle of the desert. So anyway, um, so he's walking. He's walking to the diner, right? Everybody's get that? The penguin is walking to the diner. And about halfway through... Like halfway, like across the road, he spots a bottle cap. Now this is interesting because it was it was a bottle cap of the same type of of drink. It, it's called like uh, I think it's called Ironside. It's the same type of drink that him and his father like shared. So so he so he begins 
reminiscing about his childhood and about how him and his dad and and then all of a sudden it's like it's like a scene in a movie where where the music starts playing and the music in this case is is that is that Harry is that Harry Chapin the 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 cats in the cradle song you know where the where the dad is never around so that starts playing and and he's crying and he and he he dries his tears and mind you he's in the middle of the road but it's not a busy road so anyway he he stops he puts the he puts the uh bottle cap in in his pocket because even though he's a penguin and he's already kind of wearing a suit, he does have pockets. At least for the purpose of this story. All right, so this penguin, who in this story has pockets, finally he starts. He he's, he actually makes it to the diner. Okay, he makes it to the diner. Now he opens the diner and inch, this is cool because this diner, the door has like a little bell that rings while you open it. Um, but it's actually not just one. It's like three in a row. And and they make a, a da, da, da sound as he opens it up. It's, it's, it's kind of cool. Anyway, so he goes in and, and they can hear by the da 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 that there, there's someone there. There's a, a person to... Um, I'm going to have a sip of Coke. I'm thirsty. This is... This joke is... Um, <laughs> It's making me thirsty. I'm sorry. Um, so anyway. No, I'm, I, there's, there's, there is a punchline at the end of this joke. I promise you there's a punchline at the end of this joke. I'm not, I'm not just going along. Okay. So, 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 so he walks into the diner and they, of course, know he's there because of the bells that I mentioned earlier. Um, so so they they're like sit anywhere you like sweetie and he's like sweetie oh that's cool you know because he hasn't been called sweetie in a long time his, his mom used to call him sweetie so you know he doesn't cry about his mom he cries about his dad thing because that was a bigger emotional but anyway he goes and sits down and um he's flipping through you, you know how some of those uh diners have a little bitty th um kind of jukebox sitting at the table that you can you can pick your songs and it'll play at the jukebox over there. So so he looks and he starts playing Cats in the Cradle. Because that's the song. And, and he's crying more. Um, and then finally the waitress gets around and is like, Oh, honey, what's what's wrong with you? And he's like, Oh, this song. And, and she's like, Yeah, it is an emotional song. You know, she's, she's sympathizing with him. It's because it is an emotional song. Anyway, so... Um... He's 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 looking at the menu, cause cause I forgot to mention that she handed him a menu, but I I didn't think maybe I needed to say that right. You guys got that <laughs> that she handed them. I, I mean I don't want anybody being like, hey, you didn't mention that she handed him a menu, and then I'm gonna like, oh well, of course she did, you know. So anyway, so she hands him a menu and he's looking over the menu and he's looking over the menu and he sees like, you know, it's got it's standard diner fare, you know, hamburgers and you can get eggs, you can get breakfast foods. Um, and, and he's like, uh, I don't know, you know, I'm hot. See, that's the big thing is that he's a penguin in the middle of a desert. So I just want I want everybody to stop for a moment and close your eyes and imagine yourself as a penguin in the middle of the desert. Do, do you have the image? Does everybody have the image? Okay, okay. Now imagine how hot you'd be. Because you're a penguin. Penguins are not meant to be this hot. So he's, he's actually thinking about what he wants to make himself cooler. Luckily, the diner is... Uh, refrigerate refrigerated that's not the correct word. air conditioned the, the the diner is air conditioned but still he's hot so um what he does is he's looking for something um cold to eat so so he's he he's like not a hamburger and not like eggs or breakfast and stuff like that and he's like maybe, maybe there's a key lime pie and and he likes key lime pie but uh, it doesn't like 
And so he's looking at the menu, and he, doesn't really, he really just doesn't see anything he really wants. And she's, he's like, and, and the waitress comes by, and she's like, well, what's the matter? And, and, and he's like, well, the song, for one thing. Yes, I just did 1410. Anyway, so the song <laughs> uh, that, that's playing is making him cry, uh, which, of course is what is part of what's but the other thing is that he says oh well you have nothing on the menu uh, that's like cold and i'm a penguin and it's the middle of the desert and this is kind of how he sounds he, you know it's kind of a little nasal i don't know why he's nasally because i don't think penguins are penguins nasally when they talk anyway so he's uh, uh so she's she's sympathizing with him about being cold uh sorry being too hot in the middle of the desert and she says well I don't know if you know this, but we have ice cream. And he, his face lights up. Like, let me tell you, have you, have you ever seen somebody, like, when, when you get, like, you surprise them with something, or you give them flowers, and their face, like, is, like, beaming? Like, that's what this penguin looks like. He's so happy to hear that they have ice cream. And he and she's like, well, do you, do you want a comb? And he's like, no, I want. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Mm. <laughs> Burped. Uh, and he's like, no, I want like a bowl with like three scoops in it, like big heaping scoops of vanilla ice cream. And she's like, vanilla ice cream? And he's like, yeah, I, I, I like vanilla ice cream. And he's like, and she's like, oh, okay. I mean, we have chocolate. And he's like, no, I want vanilla ice cream. And she's like, well, we have, we have macadamia nut ice cream. He's like, no, I want. I want vanilla ice. Trust me, I'm a penguin in the middle of the desert. I know what I need. I need vanilla ice cream. And she's like, well, we have pistachio ice cream. And it's like, do you have vanilla? And she's like, yes, we have vanilla. But we also have Rocky Road. And she, he's like, no, I just want vanilla ice cream. And she's like, oh, well, you don't have to be rude about it. I'll get you vanilla ice cream. So after a while... Um, the waitress brings, now I didn't mention this, but he also ordered, he also ordered a Coke. So he, he ordered a Coke and a thing of vanilla ice cream, but he drank the Coke, uh, while he's eating. So he's eating the vanilla and man, he's going to town on vanilla. I mean, could you imagine being as hot as a penguin is hot in the middle of the desert? If you, if you, if you, if you need to, you can, you can do the whole close your eyes and imagine you're a penguin thing again. So that you can, you get the, okay. So uh, penguin, hot, middle of the desert, eating ice cream. He's going to town on this ice cream. I mean, you've never, like, he's, it's crazy. Like, he's, rawr. and then he, he's finished the ice cream, and, and he pays for the ice cream. Uh, he, he tips really well. He's a, he's a business penguin. He's wearing a suit already. I already mentioned that, right? So, so he, he, he pays like a, he pays a hundred percent tip. Like, he, he just doubles the amount of money he, he puts down. So eventually he's like, I guess I got to go over and uh, see if they, they finally know what's wrong with my car that broke down. So uh, after he finished paying the tip, he, he gets up from his seat and, and walks over to the uh, walks, walks out the door and he hears the, here's the chime of the three bells. And he, uh, he walks across the street. No, no, no bottle cap this time. He just walks across the street. No, I'm, I'm not going to I'm not going to stop the story any longer by mentioning that he found anything along the way because th that would be pointless. And you guys just want to hear like the end of the story, which is going to be in another couple of paragraphs. So um, so so he get, he gets over to the um, what are the uh, mechanic shop and he walks up to the mechanic and is like, um, so have you, have you looked at my car? And the uh, mechanic, uh, looks down at the penguin and says, yep, well, <clears throat> well, it looks like you blew a seal. And the penguin's like, no, no, it's just ice cream. It's just ice cream. <laughs> <laughs>